Hi everyone, I am going to do a quick uh, tutorial about mark making today. Um, I took out some rubber bands, um, some different shapes of, this is a lid to a jar I had. I grabbed that, I wanted a round shape. So anything you have that's round that would work, even a plastic Tupperware or something um, in your stash that works for that. Or you can cut it out of a piece of, I grabbed some cardboard that I had, um, some driftwood, some old pieces of um, wood that I'm going to use to wrap. And this is just a really fun, simple um, way to make interesting papers. And you know how I like to do that. I love, love making, um, artist papers and playing with marks and experimenting with um, different types of mark making. Um, I think it's very relaxing and I just love to do it. So um, I grabbed these from the dollar store, really inexpensive. I grabbed out a stack of different types of papers and fabrics. So I have some cheesecloth. Um, a lot of these things have gone through a process already and that's my love, um, it's just, making really interesting um, pieces for collage and for my art. So this is kind of what I grabbed out. There's some vintage book papers. There's some just plain um, copy paper. Um, this is a piece of handmade paper. So just kind of grab from your stash. Um, uh, this is a rust, a piece of the rust fabric that I did a couple weeks back. So I thought I'd bring that in. Um, I'm going to be using um, black paint and gray paint for my marks today and I just grabbed out some inexpensive chalk paint that I had in my stash and I also will be using um, a little piece of jelly printing plate. This is what I like to um, use as like a stamp pad for my, for my um, paint. Um, if you don't have that you can absolutely use a foam brush or a paint brush to pr paint the um, paint onto your your mark making tools. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll show you kind of my process for this. It's really easy and I'm kind of going, I haven't done this in a long time so I'm just kind of going by the seat of my pants here and you're just going to play along with me. So you're just going to wrap um, your pieces with the rubber bands and again this is a non-thinking fun um, process and I'm going to do all of these um, little sticks and I just want I want the organicness of of these marks the organic nature of the marks I think I just made up a new word. But a lot of these have some cool marks on them already. Um, but look in your, like, look, go outside. I mean, rocks work well for this. If you have, like, um, a little, a lot of us have just rock, landscape rock outside of our house. Um, that works. So those two are pretty well done. You see, like, I have some that are kind of, like, knotted. And all of these different um, areas are going to make a different mark. So it's really, really fun to see what you get. So you get the idea. That's how um, I do it on there. So I, this is a new one for me, and I kind of wanted a um, nest. Let's see if this is going to work. So if, if you can't get it to to like stay um maybe the area is too slippery or it's not working we can ax um cut it out of cardboard too or a stiff piece of chipboard if you have it in your stash but i just wanted like a round mark so i thought i would bring in some round pieces and like always, I'm just kind of flying by the seat of my pants here to show you guys, and you're just along with the ride here. So some of this stuff doesn't, you know, might not work out. Um, might be a disaster, but happy disasters are fun too. So that's not working. That's kind of 
flying off there. So I'm going to cut a piece of cardboard um, in a bigger area. I love, so the mark that this makes um, on, a, on a piece of cardboard is kind of like a, a great journaling um, place to write. So I will just kind of take my pieces here and I want to make a, a, a very organic sloppy looking um, page to write on and these are really fun to have in your stash that one. Um, this one I don't think is going to hold up, so I'm just going to cut a quick circle out of my cardboard. See if I can get that to work a little better. And I use the term circle loosely here. It's not a perfect circle. It's just going to stick a little better than the slippery. Metal. So that looks good too. So those are my, my um, first real quick print, printing plates basically is what they are. Um, this one I'll probably add to a little bit more. But let's go ahead and play with um, these and see what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna take out, um, I'm gonna start with just this. And I like to work again on like a soft, softer surface. You get a better print. So I'm gonna be using my jelly print plate um, if you don't have a jelly plate, use an old book or some, a stack of magazines. Just something that gives you a little bit of a, a softer um, area to press into. It's going to help a lot with your, with your printing. And I'm just going to kind of fill up this, this area with some different papers. The other nice thing is that they stick to the plate, um, which makes it easier to print um, and pick up and it, your paper doesn't slide around. So I'm gonna start with some black chalk paint. So this, um, this chalk paint for me isn't as black as I, as I like. So I'm gonna add a little bit of just golden acrylic to that to get it nice and black. And you want to um, give yourself a stamp pad, really. So I'm gonna use my paintbrush and just kind of move this around. And let's see, let's do this first. So you load up your, um, your mark making tool. And that is really neat. So I'm catching some of the wood grain too from between, which I love, really cool. And so there's four sides on this, which is really fun. Let's see, but you can go back over. That's almost looking like a birch tree to me, which is really neat. And you gotta press a, you know, give yourself a press, press, press pretty hard on that. So that's my first mark um, print. Let's let's turn this over. See what we get from this side. Um, this paint 
is again not it's not as opaque as I would like um, black gesso I'm out of today it's on the way but um, you could use that and that probably give you a better uh, deeper print but let's just keep going with this and sometimes like the really stark black um, marks while they're really they're very graphic and neat sometimes you just do need a little bit lighter t uh, black so that's really cool there's some X action going in there love it so in each of these little um, areas too you know, you'll ha you'll find um, sections that you like better than others I'm just gonna work through this pretty fast there really isn't like rules I don't think moving back and forth so that is really cool so again I, I even just used three sides of this I haven't gone into that um, and you can see all the different variations of the marks okay so let's try this circle and I'm gonna go for this side I'm gonna load it up Very cool. So I think on this one, I think I'll add some more um, rubber bands. But wow, what an amazing, like beautiful round shape that made. Love that. Let's do, um, so this is the piece that I like to do, um, like writing for writing and journaling. So I like to have those around. Get some more black paint. And is this one's large enough that I could have used a different um, way? Let's just paint it on and see. See what we can get. So it's because I loaded so much paint on here, I probably won't want to press as hard. Because I just want the imprints of the rubber bands. Beautiful. So I really love that. And that's just really neat, like for journaling in your journals, that's just a really cool um, pages to have. Just gonna finish off that. So beautiful, that can be used in um, portions or that could be a whole page in a journal. So let's go, let's do some of the fabric. So this cheesecloth is real wrinkly, which I think when I was, when I pulled this out, I was thinking well, that might really be cool to stamp into because you're going to get the variation of the wrinkles and stuff. Um, so let's load this guy up again. I mean, and again, we can go back over this this way too with rubber bands. Um, same with these. I mean, I just did one way. Very cool. And I could see doing this with different colors. Um, if you like like a rust color, this turned out really neat. And then you get that variation. So this is actually two pieces. 
and I love that one too. It's simpler. It was doubled up, but it's just got a um, much simpler mark on it. So let's keep that. And I'm just going to work through a few of these. I'll add a couple more this way. Again, that's a really neat um, area for journaling or writing. Let's do some of this vintage paper. All right, so you can see it, it goes really fast um, and you can make lots of um, papers for collage and for your journals and your books and your art um, really fast and it just play with the idea. There's so many ways that you can do. There's so many different um, marks that can be made with this technique. So I hope you have a lot of fun. I'd love to see what you made. Um, tag me on Instagram at Amy Irel or um, here, leave me a message and let's, let's uh, show each other and inspire each other um, through our art. So thanks again.